The cell was happy and vitalized, but all of a sudden, to its surprise, it became anxious and uptight, cause several components got in a fight. The mitochondria proudly did say, Cell respiration is underway. This four-stage process sequentially breaks down fuel for energy. Glucose, a six-carbon molecule, is the cell's major source of fuel. Lots of energy is derived when it's broken down or catabolized. Stage one is called glycolysis. The cytosol accomplishes this. It splits glucose, which generates two three-carbon compounds called pyruvate. If oxygen's present, we then do the link reaction, or stage two. We change the pyruvates one at a time via a complex of enzymes. The pyruvates are changed, by the way, into compounds called acetyl-CoA, a two-carbon compound that we need for the Krebs cycle stage three to proceed. The cytosol yelled, Okay, okay! Have you anything else to say? The mitochondria sniped. Yes, we do. Now we'll describe the Krebs cycle to you. The Krebs cycle has eight major steps. They're all important, and don't forget that each and every step we'll define takes place with the help of enzymes. The first reaction that takes place begins with oxaloacetate, a starting compound which contains four carbon atoms in its chain. The oxaloacetate, or OAA, condenses with acetyl-CoA. Then CoA is removed, which generates the six carbon compound called citrate. Now, without further ado, we'll tell you what happens in step two. The citrate that step one provides gets rearranged or isomerized. Isocitrate is thereby obtained, which has six carbons in its chain. Follow along and you will see the work that we do in step three. NAD plus quickly arrives and the isocitrate is oxidized. The NAD plus gets reduced, and NADH and H plus are produced. An unstable compound is derived, which loses carbon dioxide. So this reaction will generate alpha keto glutarate. Just for the sake of brevity, we'll refer to this as AKG an important compound which contains five carbon atoms in its chain. Follow along as we explore several reactions in step four. NAD plus rapidly arrives and the AKG is oxidized. The NAD plus gets reduced and NADH and H plus are produced. The AKG gets further changed, CO2 comes off, then CoA is gained. Succinyl-CoA is derived, in which four carbon atoms reside. Pay attention as we describe the work that we do in step five. The succinyl-CoA that was gained gets chemically altered and rearranged, so this reaction generates the four-carbon compound succinate. This reaction yields, additionally, a molecule of GTP, which takes place, for your information, by substrate-level phosphorylation. GTP can, reversibly, give a phosphate group to ADP, which yields adenosine triphosphate, ATP, if we abbreviate. Next, we must include in the mix reactions that take place in step six. The succinates oxidized at this time by FAD, a special coenzyme which is bound covalently to complex two in our ETC. The FAD becomes reduced and FADH2 is produced. 
This reaction generates the four carbon compound fumarate. Now it's time to talk about what step seven carries out. The fumarate that was created gains H2O and gets hydrated. The compound malate now is gained, which has four carbons in its chain. Let's take a look at step eight and the final product it creates. NAD plus quickly arrives and the malate becomes oxidized. The NAD plus gets reduced and NADH and H plus are produced. This reaction therefore generates the four carbon oxaloacetate. We're back to where we started from, and the Krebs cycle is now done. The cycle's over, so let's review the products that it gave rise to. Each turn of the cycle generates three molecules of NADH, one GTP, one FADH2, and two molecules of CO2. We do all of this work, indeed, for each acetyl-CoA we receive. Two come our way when one glucose breaks down, so the cycle turns twice, round and round. The cytosol shouted in a huff. Yes, you do all of that stuff, but you could not do any of this if I didn't do glycolysis. I send the pyruvates your way, from which you make acetyl-CoA, the very compound that you need for the Krebs cycle to proceed. All of you know, irrefutably, the work you do depends on me. I'm as important as all of you. So just give credit where credit is due. The cell membrane blurted. To your chagrin, I let cell respiration begin. You do reactions, undoubtedly, but they wouldn't take place without me. I'm the gatekeeper of the cell. I let glucose in and O2 as well. And I am the one who eliminates. The CO2 cell rest generates. They calmed down and unpretentiously said to each other, respectfully, There's nothing further to discuss. The Krebs cycle needs all of us.